What's up guys, and in this video, yes, you just saw the title and the thumbnail correctly. Uh, we are doing the wall buy challenge on Buried. Um, one of my um, friends, oh my god, the sensitivity on this game, holy crap. Um, but anyways, I hope everyone enjoys this video. If you do, uh, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, and this is, let's just get right into it. I... I literally came into this literally mindless. Like I saw a comment on my last video, like suggesting to do a wall buy challenge on one of the classic maps. So I decided to choose buried. How good? Buried is buried classified as a classic map. I mean, the BO2 is getting up there in the years. I reckon it classifies as a classic map. I mean, I love buried. Like. If someone would have asked me on what my favorite Call of Duty game was, it would be Black Ops 2 Zombies. Like, no question about it. Um, mainly because Black Ops 2 was the first of the game I played. With Black Ops 2, they brought out Transit. I know everyone, when Transit released, or on release, when the game released, they released Transit, and everyone hated Transit because of the fog. I mean that's understandable, but uh, like over the years, every, like everyone's like grown to love transit and what it brought to the table. Same with Origins, Mob of the Dead, Buried, which is what I'm playing now, Nuketown, Zombies, um, Diner, Farm, Town, all really good maps. There's not not a single bad map um, in this game, except Die Rise. Die Rise sucks. I need to drop down. Uh, let's get quick revive. Let's grab it, this. Let's put it on the wall. We are not going to be using this gun because I hate that gun. I hate all shotguns in this game. <laughs> they all suck. Double points basically at the end of the round. Let's go. Absolutely the best. Let's grab this key. Uh, get Leroy out of here. I'm pretty sure that's Leroy. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's his name, Leroy. Okay, let's grab this booze. Make sure his back is turned to the debris you want to break. Give him the booze. And he's going to break the thing. How cool. Now he's just going to roam around. Uh, we are not allowed to hit the box. I'm pretty sure that's the last zombie, so we're going to leave that last zombie. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the wall by area and we're gonna grab our guns that we're gonna be using for the rest of the game now there is some like bonuses to using wall by guns only um when you don't get max ammo for a very long time you can get max ammo from the wall buys oh what wall buy to pick we got the pdw we got the ak 47u svo svu as and an 94 you know what, we're going to go with the best wall buy possible. The AN-94 is the best wall buy you can possibly get. But we are also going to be pack a punch in the PDW as well, because the PDW is also really good for points. Uh, let's grab this real quick. Look how much ammo it has in reserve. That, that just shows that's such a good gun. And it also kills really quickly as well. Really good high round gun. All right, let's quickly grab the PDW. Where is, uh, there it is. I literally just said where it was and I just didn't see it. I would go to the bank, but it turns out that I have no, Last time I played Buried, I had no cash and I didn't refill it at all, so. We are not, we're not going to be able to go get uh, money from the bank, sadly. Ooh, that pistol is actually really good. And another reason why I chose Buried for the wall buy like, challenge thing is because it has so many wall buys on the walls and stuff like that. It's ridiculous how many wall buys that are on this map. Um, I'm trying to find a wall buy section, um, but I can't find one. Oh, I found a wall buy area. Let's go. <laughs> this is probably going to be like a long game because we got to go through the witches. Oh, the zombie died. All right. And whilst, I'm, whilst the um, round is starting, I, I would like to say thank you everyone for uh, all the support in my recent videos. I'm going to keep on going with the videos, posting every single day. I'm not going to stop until, I don't know, <laughs> until my brain just conks. <laughs> uh, 
The mystery box is looking tempting to spin, but we can't spin the mystery box, sadly. Uh, the booze is in here, it's probably in the bar. And to break all the barriers, you need more booze. You need to um, give Leroy more booze. So to break like stuff like this, you need booze. And you need to have his back facing the debris you want to break. How cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, the booze was in here. Cool. Now, time to give uh, Leroy some booze. What we're going to do is we're going to get uh, get Juggernaut. So, what you do is you uh, get Leroy over here. He's taking his sweet ass time. Hurry up. You slow f old fart. Oh, my God. Make sure his back is, tur is turned to the uh, Juggernaut thing. Give him booze, and he should break it. Look at that. How cool. Anyways, thank you for that. And, oh, I need to turn power first. Didn't even know this map had power. If you don't know where power is, always follow, like, those lines. Because the lines always uh, tell you where, or show you, point to a direction where um, power is. Like, see these arrows? They usually point to power. Which I was correct in the matter. It led me straight to power. Now I can get Juggernaut. But before we get Juggernaut, we have to save up more points. How good. Uh, I I really hope that they bring back the BO2 point system back into Black Ops 6. Because I know in Cold War, they had it so you only got points when you killed zombies. Not like per bullet. Which, it, it didn't matter, but... I like the fact that you get points per bullet and you get more additional points when you kill the zombie. This map is so like visually good on the eyes. Like it's such a good map for like how long ago it was made. I, I, I do suppose that's probably why BO2 is so like good in people's eyes. It's because it was made ahead of its time back in 2012. I think this game was made back in 2012. Don't don't quote me on that. I don't know when the game was made, but I know roughly when it was popular. It was it was popular from 2012 to 2015. Pretty sure. I may be wrong though. And the, the game BO2 is still popular. Like there's still 2,000 people online. I checked to see on who was playing online on BO2, and it was 2,000 people. But that's in Australia, mind you. And Australia doesn't have a big play base, player base, in general, really. Because when you go on uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare free zombies, you try and get into an Australian server, nah. <laughs> you get put straight into American servers. Man, it doesn't lag, but it's, del it's delayed as hell. And I'm getting hit from a zombie from a mile away. I really do hope in the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6, they, they make it so you can have your own custom game that you can play with your friends in your own custom game. That is my one wish. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. Whoopsie. Uh, what we need to do is we need to grab Speed Collar. And we also need to grab Booze to open up Witch's Hut or Vulture's Aid. Uh, we need to find the Booze first. Okay, let's go and quickly grab the Booze. The Booze is probably in here. Uh, never mind, it's not in here. Where the hell would the booze be? Leroy, did you drink the booze already? My man, you need to lay off the booze. Leroy reminds me of my uh, father when I, when I was like five. Ah, oh, the booze was in here. I just didn't see it. <laughs> Yet again, make sure Leroy's back is turned to the um, debris you want to break. Now, we don't need to go into the candy shop because we don't need to. And the way to get speed collar is through this little area right here. Come up these stairs, go across, come up these stairs, and speed call is right there. How good. And I, I spent like two hours the first time I played Barry trying to find speed caller. Not even joking. It took me so goddamn long to find bloody speed call. And double tap is in the witch's house. We have to do a witch's run so we can get double tap. But first, we gotta get points to get double tap. Because double tap is 2,000 points. And I'm pretty sure you have to pay money to um, open the witch's hut. Or house. Whatever you want to call it. It's more like a mansion because how big it is. But, you know. 
is what it is. Oh, Boozer's already here. Let's go. I'm mean, Leroy. Let's go. Uh, I would open up Volta's aid, but we don't really need it. We need ammo bad. Oh, good thing that... <laughs> I literally just forgot that um, we're using wall buys, so we don't really need to worry about that. Make sure his back's turned to the, de the debris, and he'll destroy the debris, and you should get points. Yep, cool. Now, let's go and get some ammo for the um, AN-94. And after this round, we'll go and get double tap, and then we'll go to Pack-a-Punch. I know exactly where Pack-a-Punch is on this map. Because the amount of times I've gone through the maze is ridiculous. Um, I usually first try the maze, um, but I seriously doubt I'm going to be that lucky while doing a video. Because when I'm doing a video, apparently my luck just goes through the f bloody window. Not even joking. Uh, yeah, and uh, I forgot to say, um, place your guesses in the comments section on what round you think I will make it to. I think I will make it to round 21, I reckon. Round 21 would be a good guess. We need to go get double tap, but first, we need to quickly grab this. Well, we just got nuke. That was a terrible freaking nuke. I killed a zombie right in front of my face. That was so bad. Um... We need to go get double tap now. You know what? Screw it. Let's open up the candy store. We might as well to waste money because the witch is going to steal our money anyways. Uh, ah, yep. The witch stole my money. Well, I should say the bitch stole my money. Oh my god. Stop stealing my money. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. Now, now I have zero dollars. I came in with seven, seven grand and now I have zero dollars. That is the definition of of being robbed. Going through the maze mid-round is such a bad idea. Good thing we have double tap. And um, after you finish killing all the witches, um, you get a free perk. How good. See, free perk. Anyways. And we got mule kick. Okay, the most useless one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. Uh, let's go this way. This way, and this way, and this way. Oh my god, you just can't make it up. You just can't make it up. I first tried that shit. I am a god. Look, it's just there's no way about it. No way around it. I am a god. This is a really bad area. My my hands are sweaty. Needs to be arms are heavy. If you don't get that reference, um, I don't know. I guess you just don't get the reference. As you can tell, I am a big Eminem fan. Ammo is a must right now. Holy crap. Okay, let's first try this again. Uh, over here, over here. Okay, cool. First try to yet again. How good. Uh, the witch's lights aren't on y anymore, so that's good. We need to quickly go get ammo. Maybe switch to a gun that is loaded? And, oh my god. Again, we're stealing my money. Oh my god. I hate the witch. Whoever, whatever dev decided to make it so the witch deals your money, you you just need to be fired. I, I hope you're already fired. Uh, that is the most annoying thing possible. And I can't get ammo because... Oh. Because the witch stole my money. I can't get ammo because the witch stole my money. Okay, that's just... Mm, how good. I love this game. It's such a good game. <laughs> I regret playing very buried now. I... It's a lot of ways I played a different map. Two, three, four. Okay, cool. Got 60 points. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. They're all dead. And max ammo at the end of the round. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the witch's uh, house. I don't really care on how much money you you take. Okay, let's let's quickly go to the area. Um, wait, hold on. Did I even go the right way? Oh, did it reset? Did the? Oh no, the maze reset. Oh no, I'm screwed right now. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. That is such a bad thing to happen. The maze got reset. 
No way it got reset, right? That is... That is so stupid. Okay. So what we need to do is... Uh, save one zombie. So we can figure out the maze. Yet again. Uh, it's... I've never been in this stuff of maze before. Okay, let's go this way, this way. Let's go... Not, not that way. First of the time, I've not first tried this maze. Okay. This way. Okay, found it. Okay, cool. My lord. That was... Hell. Okay, ran out of ammo with the PDW. I think the first gun we got pack a punch is the um, AK AN4. Cause it seems like a good good choice to pack a punch the um the better gun first. We love chilled gameplay. You know, I was sort of hoping for um a speed collar when we got the free perk. If you guys wanna know another like a tip or a trick to get like free um free perks, wait a couple rounds for witches lights to go on. Uh, when the witch's lights uh, go on, go through like the witch's hut and you should um, get a free perk after you kill all the um, witches. Okay, this is actually starting to be stressful. No what? Oh my god, I hate this. Well, this is going to be a quick game or a quick video. Oh, fudge kick. No, no, no. No way they stayed, right? No, no, no. Okay. Well, shit. Um, that's... That's just depressing. <laughs> I was doing so good. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did. Um, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. I will have to revisit this challenge and actually pack a punch. But anyways, uh, with the outro out of the way, I'd, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.